So guys, we're now gonna get ready to start sticking down the insulation. Now what's been supplied is this Insta-Stick. The tool that you'll need is a foam gun. So you can get this from any local supplier. We've got this from MKM. All it is is a gun. You have extra attachments, nozzles that you can use here, different sizes. I'm actually gonna use this nozzle and probably just trim it down. As you get the canister, you twist it on like this. As you start to twist and twist and twist, it breaks the seal between the can and the lid itself. That allows you then to shoot the adhesive then through the extender. And you can imagine the insulation is 120 mil. So I'll go through all of the peripheral edges and then I'll then do 300 mil centers all the way along. And then once I get that, I'll then push it down and then I'll stick it down and I'll actually then stand on the actual insulation board. The other thing you'll notice that we'll stagger the joints, which is really important. The insulation will go right up to the parapet wall and right up to the side wall here as well. We'll finish it off with inch insulation coming up on the vertical upstand as well. Now what me and Pete have done, we've worked yesterday and worked all the panels in, got them all cut. We've actually marked them off with black ink around the perimeters because I actually like to put the adhesive actually in the location of where the panels going to fit. The first thing to do is we've hoovered it down. The next thing I'll do, I'll just give it a last wipe off. That's the outline of the first one here. So all I'm going to do is to step in 50 mil. I'm going to go all the way along like this. So once I've done that, then I'm going to place my first panel. Then line it up with the lines I've got pre-cut. And then I'm just going to push it down, stand on it, like that. Now obviously because of all the falls, it's really important when we cut this, we had to cut it on the fall point because the one thing we didn't want to do, if we ran that insulation through at that point there, it would end up rocking on the fall point where the water would come down. So we know all the way through this process, the water's gonna to fall to the actual drain, which is gonna be over there. So we're gonna now glue that in now. The reason I've cut that bit out is because I wanna make sure this is then recessed into the material. So when the resi tricks is then fitted, it then comes up and it's one whole continuous layer. So it's nice and smooth. There's no ridges for the water to try and get over that doesn't then collect rubbish as well. So I've cleaned the back of this. I'm gonna use this adhesive. I'm gonna put a very thin layer now all the way through here. I'm going to stick this back in now. Now if you imagine I've got an inch panel coming off there as the upstand. I'm going to poke that through now. But now when the resi tricks comes along all the fall of the water comes on top. The residue trick's gonna go on top. They're gonna to lap up here. We won't put the finishing surface on this until a couple of days later. The adhesive gives off gases evidently. And the one thing I don't want it doing is bubbling up underneath my uh, residue tricks and making it look unsightly. What that does, that gets that in the right position. We'll then put this up stand then all the way around the perimeters and then obviously the residue tricks will then come back up and the reason you put the insulation all the way through is to stop any cold bridging and that's why you put the vertical pieces in on the end guys all right 